Hello, people. I think you know who I am by now. Um, uh, Merry Christmas. I'm a little late. I know. I'm sorry. Um, I didn't have. I've been grounded recent for a while recently. I I still am. I'm at my mom's house. I'm a little felon. Um, I said I haven't been able to make videos because there just hasn't been much news. But now there is. I got I got I got Assassin's Creed Revelations for Christmas. I haven't played it yet. Um, and it looks fantastic. I like the hook blade, hook blade, and then I like the um, I like how the whole mind of mess up on the animus thing. I. I kind of like the Brotherhood story better than this one, but this one still looks pretty good. Cause, yeah, think about it. You know what I mean? Spark. Um, and it, it looks great. It's gonna look fun. So I'm I'm pretty freaking good at Assassin's Creed. I'm good at any game. Seriously, dude. Any any RPG. <laughs> Mostly. A fantasy. Skyrim. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it looks fantastic. Um, the Old Republic. The Old Republic. It looks friggin' awesome. I swear to you, man, I swear to you. It looks friggin' awesome. I haven't played it. I don't think I'm gonna get to play it for a while. My brother has it. And... Looks fantastic. I didn't know a lot about it. I looked it up. Went on G4 TV Game Rant. And, um... A friend of mine told me a few things about it that I, I didn't hear about. It looks... It looks fantastic. Post the comments if you... Have this game. Because it is fantastic. I love it. As if you have it, it will come to your house and steal it from you. I swear to freaking God, I want this game. It's an MMO. Who doesn't want an MMO? And Star Wars at that. Come on. I mean, World of Warcraft was fun, but this is Star Wars. Come on. Star Wars. Seriously. You don't have this game. You suck. No, I'm kidding. But this is a fantastic game. I seriously recommend it, even though it's like the paying monthly fee. I think. I don't know. I, I, I seriously don't know if you have to pay or not. Pretty sure you do. Pretty sure you do. Idiot. Okay. Um. And uh, it looks fantastic. If anything, I'd be a bounty hunter because I'm I'm more of a I'm not a run in type of you know dude. Even on games, in real life, no games, not really. For more like staying back and. Sniping people. Um, I'd probably be a bounty hunter. Yes, because uh, I like bounty hunters. Because one, they're freaking awesome. Two, I'm better at damage. Three, they have sweet armor, and they throw bombs. So, <laughs> bonus. And um, and I, I'd, I'd have um a bounty hunter. A Jedi, a counselor, or whatever it is, the healing one. So I'd have a, a damage, a healer, and a tank, which would be a Sith Marauder, or a Sith Lord, whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure there's like different ones. I don't, I don't know, really. That's got stuff for like having um, the story and whatnot and stuff. Um, but that's what I have. This it looks fantastic. I mean, World of Warcraft was fun during Wrath of the Lich King. Wrath of the Lich King was the best. One, it was just the best time to play, cause that's when the Death Knight was in. Death Knight was like a huge bonus to people. That's when a lot of people started to play. It was during Wrath of the Lich King. That was my favorite. I started playing during the Burning Crusade when I was around ten years old. So yeah, I've been playing for a while. I stopped like a year ago. Actually, probably even less than that. I don't know. And it was it was, it was a fun run, but. You gotta face facts here. It's a freaking MMO and Star Wars at that. Star Wars. That was. I mean, I, I like knights and heroes and magic better than futuristic stuff. But 
in an MMORPG game, you gotta go with the Star Wars. And like I said, World of Warcraft got kind of dumb at, after Lich King, because Cataclysm was just kind of stupid. They had stuff be too funny and crap like that, and I'm more of like a serious gamer. And <laughs> Shut the guest's head off. Yeah. His head's gone. Well, I do make jokes during it and stuff like that, but when more serious games, more serious things occur. I don't know what I'm saying. But, um, it, it looks fantastic. I recommend you get it. I freaking recommend it. Looks great. Um, and I just want to bring to your attention that me and my friend, a few funny, yes, my best bro, he's my bro, okay, my bro, we've known each other since seventh grade. I'm in high school, freshman. I shouldn't have told, I shouldn't have told you that. But, um, I know it's not that long, but we're bros. Like, dude, we have a mind freaking link. Whatever goes on is here and here is going on in there. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, that was kind of creepy. Mm. Okay, um, I just want to bring to your attention that we are making a parody song. A song, a parody, a song. Well, we're, we're making a parody of Skyrim and Assassin's Creed. Re Revelations, mostly, I guess. That's what we, like, do the animation. Because we plan on doing an animation. Or, like, scenes from the game or something like that. Like, we record certain scenes from a game or something like that. And, um, it's, it's just, we haven't, we haven't come up with the title yet. We're halfway done. It's, um, uh, it's, yeah, that's just how it is. And, uh, it's, it's gonna be really funny. It's really funny. It's just a parody about those two games and, like, it's like singing. That's why it's a song, obviously. It starts out with, um, the Dragonborn. He's, like, standing in his, like, on top of dragon thing, you know how he is in all those pictures, and and he shouts, "Time for a song!" You know, he, he shouts it, you know, like in a shout. And then, um, and then it goes to Assassin's Creed, goes to Ezio. He's kind of like walking, like this background singing would be me because I'm better at singing than the better of I, I don't know. And and uh, this is how, this is how it goes. Ezio, walking so awesomely, gonna kill that guy who's standing there, better watch out, you're going to, and then, it have him, like, he's like, grabs him on his shoulder, he's about to stab him with, with his hidden blade, and then it stops, it goes like, boom, 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 and kind of like, goes back and forth, back and forth, but he hasn't stabbed him yet, and then, he, his head turns to the total, they come to like, the, the screen of where, like, where you're watching, and he says, "Let's do this thing," and then stabs that guy, and then he dies, and then he gets out of sword. Boy, he's like, "Pull out your sword, blop, parry, stab, kick, stab, cut in the face," and it gets it gets funny. It doesn't sound funny at first, but it gets it gets funnier. Trust me. I've had told a lot of people about this, and they laughed their head off. I don't want to reveal any of the funny parts because the best part obviously um I guess that's it I'll see what other news I can get y'all and see you guys next time goodbye